morning my party friends how's it all going right i'm sitting here today i thought i'd be potting all day as you know i'm a potter and it's called earth studios so what am i doing in front of this it's driving me mad i don't know about any of you but i hate computers they just do my head in. Every time I go to do something, I have to do something else. And, and and I have to go all around the houses to get back to where I want to be. But I've got to download 17 apps to do it. It's just not making me happy. I, I, I like my potting bit. And I like my glazing bit. and But I don't like trying to make my computer do what it's supposed to do. Why is this happening to me? Everybody else goes, da la 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 la. I can do it, I can do it, and I can't. I don't know. I spent 20 minutes this m I didn't spend 20 minutes at all. I spent nearly two hours trying to make a light box. Anybody got one they don't want? I need a light box for my photography to take some nice pictures of my nice mugs. And if I don't do it properly, you won't all see how gorgeous, 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 gorgeous the pictures are. Then what's the point of that? Just made myself a nice cup of tea. And, oh, there. And I'm now going to de-stress and have my nice cup of tea. But if anybody's got any ideas how you do pictures from Facebook, no, from Google, straight onto Facebook shop, can you just tell me? Because I actually can't figure it out and it can't be that difficult. I'm sure it can't be that difficult. Um, because everything is supposed to be uncomplicated now. But if you've got any ideas, let me know. Failing that. Didn't give you an update, did I, on my kiln opening. I meant to video it so that you could all see how, how, it, how it was. Now, you remember... Last time I spoke to you, I just had a, a happening, a catastrophe, a, a Nessie experience. And I've changed Nessie's name now because of that. And she is now called Puff, the magic dragon, fire. See, get it? I was going all wrong with Nessie. Nessie's underwater. What's the point of that? No wonder she was sketching on fire. Anyway, so now she's called Puff. Remember that. So when I'm talking about Puff, we're talking about my kiln. Um, I open it up. The first, there was two mugs on the top of the kiln and they were completely shot. And they were all hand painted. I, can't, I don't want to tell you who they were for, but I've now got to start again. And... They were beautifully done. All the glaze was all hand done. And when I got up in the morning and, and went and checked it, it all melted. So there were no pictures. It all melted. Needless to say, I was not happy. But I got over it because I lifted up the next bit. So I was on the next shelf. And that bit wasn't great, if I'm honest. But then I got down to the next two shelves, which had the majority of the mugs in. And that's what I'm putting on now. I'm putting them on Facebook shop now. So you'll get to see them. There was actually some really lovely ones. I've There's one pair there that I think sort of go quite manly. I don't know why I think that. But I think it's because all the guys in that have come into the house, like my son-in-law, my other half, my son, my whoever, they've all been coming in and they've all been going, oh, I love those, love those, they're really nice. So they've obviously got a more manly, fla not flavour, persona, I don't know, how do you describe a mug? Anyway, they've obviously got a more manly side to it. So... Oh, Father's Day coming up. Take a note of that one because they could be good for that. The other ones have all come out really well as well. I've got about seven or eight pairs at the moment. I've still got so much more to glaze. Um, and I'm having to re-glaze some of the ones that come out of the, the puff fire thing. Um, but take a look. There's some really lovely trippy ones. I've used a lot of that um, smoky Merlot. So that's nice. Take a look at that. With And it goes almost like an iridescent purpley colour. Just love it. Really love it. So take a look at that. 
Um, in case you notice, I'm still not real, well, real, well. So I can't even get my worms out. Um, so cold came back again yesterday. I was feeling a bit better, but um, obviously I'm not. There you go. I think I've had flu, but there you go. Um, so what was I, was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah. So I think it was because I was out yesterday. I went and played rug. <laughs> I come out with the stupidest thing. I did not go and play rugby. I went and watched my grandson play rugby. That would have been really weird if I'd have gone and played. Um, all my family are rugby p players, like my my other half, Dave. He's a big rub rug rug. I'm going to start again. My other half, Dave. He's played rugby for. 35 years makes him really old but he's been playing since he was about 17 and then my son played but he can't play at the moment because he's got a brokey leg a bit and then now my grand's my grindson which is how you say it my grindson he now plays rugby so that's absolutely fabulous. We've got a whole family of rugby player people. I don't play, obviously, but they all do. And um, it's following in the footsteps, which is quite nice. So we all went to watch him yesterday, stood out. And was it cold yesterday? Oh, my God. Did anybody go out? It was lovely and sunny in the afternoon. But in the morning, it was freezing. I had my coat on. I had my hood up. I had my hands inside my coat so that I didn't get cold. Just absolutely freezing. Anyway, but it was a lovely day. So Mother's Day had all the children round. One of them was in Athens. So I didn't get to see her. Getting to see her tonight. I hope you all had a really, really lovely Mother's Day because you all deserve it. We're all our own little princesses, aren't we? And I hope all your princes and princesses after you just looked after you and made you the best day that they possibly could. Okay, anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Go and have a look at my shop. All of the stuff's on there. I'm putting bits on all day. It's taking me forever. And um, I'll come back to you. We'll see you soon, you crazy potters. Bye.